Good evening friends, this is Shruti and I am at 4th IoT Summit 2017 at Bangalore here at Sterling's Mac Hotel. We had a, a day full of uh, knowledge and insights about IoT, smart cities, we had panel discussions and I have with me one of the panelists and one of the speakers who spoke on the topic of smart cities. Now this person is strategy and marketing develop, market development IoT and smart cities and he's working at Cisco. In his current role, he's enabling public sectors and large enterprise customers to leverage the power of digitization and disruptive innovation. He, is, uh, he was also a senior manager of corporate strategy at WNS and an assistant manager of strategic initiatives at Tech Mahindra. So let's welcome Vijay Venkatesh Ramani. Hi Vijay, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you so much. So, Vijay, you are working with Cisco in the IoT sector. That's right. So, would you like to explain that what IoT is about? Sure. So, you know, at a at a very basic level, it is about connectivity. It's about multiple things getting connected. Um, I think uh, there are various statistics that are out there which says that, you know, in a short span of time, we're going to have as many as 50 billion devices connected to the internet, mm -hmm. um, right? So, it could be anything and everything from your refrigerator to your car uh, to machines. We, we all, all already have smartphones, right? So uh, we, we are already at a point in time where there are more connected devices than there are people on, uh, on the face of the planet. So IoT, in a sense, is about being able to derive value from those connections. Uh, really, so if you if you bring if you are able to connect all of these sensors uh, and are able to derive value from the data uh, that results from this connectivity uh, and that can make a profound impact in for efficiencies, can improve productivity. Uh, right, you can realize greater value. Uh, that is really what IoT is all about. In which vertical IoT is making a greater impact? I think there are. Uh, it, it's actually making impact across all verticals. Um, right, it's making impact in retail. It's making impact in manufacturing. Um, it's making impact in connected cars. It's making impact in smart cities. Uh, so every everything that you can think of, every domain that you can think of, really, uh, is being impacted by IoT. Okay. And what are your views on smart cities as you are an expert in smart city? Uh, I think smart cities is uh, is something that has caught the fancy uh, recently. Uh, but essentially, cities around the world are seeing great value in, the, in being able to deploy technology to be able to offer uh, really better citizen services. Uh, right? So I think that's what it really comes down to. It's about being able to utilize the technology for the betterment of citizen services. Um, it's about being able to, uh, because increasingly what is happening is we all understand the fact that more and more people are going into cities, um, right? And that is placing great pressure really on uh, the existing infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So the only way to be able to derive uh, more and more benefit mm -hmm. uh, out of existing infrastructure is being able to infuse it with technology in a sense. Mm -hmm. uh, not to mention the fact that cities are increasingly facing uh, competition amongst themselves to be able to attract businesses, mm -hmm. uh, investment, right? So uh, it, it, the, the only way you can do that is by able to uh, offer a better standard of living, is to be able to offer a better environment for your citizens to live, is to be able to attract talent, is to, be, is to provide an environment where, um, where, the, uh, where the quality of life in a particular city is better than others, uh, right? So that's really why smart cities is, is really important. Okay, and from Cisco, what is the Cisco's role in the development of smart cities? Uh, we uh, we are fortunate enough to have worked with a multitude of uh, you know for governments and, and cities across the world. Uh, I think we've started the uh, smart cities journey at least five to six years back, um, and we are a recognized thought leader when it comes to smart cities. Uh, we've got implementations in in practically hundreds of cities now across the world across a multitude of domains, uh, and really the way we look at uh, smart cities itself is. Uh, to be able to, if you think about it, it's about breaking down silos within multiple city departments. It's about making sure that uh, cities can work as an integrated whole and uh, not as um, you know individual uh, departments trying to just use technology for technology's sake. So uh, the way we come at it is to say that look, we will work with a large number of ecosystem partners who will offer uh, different solutions. Uh, it could be in the area of lighting, parking, waste management, transport. Um, citizen engagement, uh, right? In uh, healthcare, could be various domains. But we work with all of these partners to be able to bring them on board onto what we call as a smart plus connected digital platform. And the value of the platform really is to be able to give the cities uh, an integrated view of city operations, 
to be able to do correlations across multiple city departments, right? And to go one step further and say you can make this data available to your citizens and enable application development through developers and the developer ecosystem. Um, so uh, we really propagate a, a vision where where cities can benefit from bringing uh, departments together and breaking down silos. Mm -hmm. So when you are talking about various uh, domains in which uh, Cisco is contributing for the development of smart, smart cities like waste management or transportation or automation, which is the biggest area right now? It's, uh, you know, I, it's, it's very difficult to say there's one big area, right? Uh, but certainly uh, if you look at the deployments around the world, um, smart lighting is definitely a big area because uh, there is an underlying, um, you know, transition from traditional street lights to LEDs, which is already underway, uh, and that gives a big impetus to that particular use case. But certainly, there are other uh, emerging use cases such as parking or waste management, um, right, or uh, video surveillance, right, and analytics to counter the increasing security threats in cities. All of these are big opportunity areas in itself. Okay, and then when we move to smart villages. It's a that's a good that's a good point, right? Because uh, at the end of the day, the, the technology is not just for uh, city dwelling population, uh, but and that's where I think connectivity can play a great role. Uh, we've in fact done work with various um, you know uh, state actors to be able to say, uh, look, you can offer remote services, especially in the areas of, for example, uh, healthcare or also in terms of government services. So if you think about it today in India, if somebody wants, let's say, a land register. More often than not, a person from village will have to some come to a, the local, um, you, you know, administrative uh, office, which could be, you know, uh, a long distance away. Mm -hmm. So, leveraging technology, we are trying to see if we can put in place a remote government solution, um, right, and make available technology for their use, which is uh, applicable in that particular context. Okay, Vijay, it was uh, wonderful talking to you and uh, listen your insights on smart cities and what Cisco is doing about it. I wish you good luck in your endeavor. Thank you so much. Pleasure to be here. So this is Shruti signing off. I'll see you soon.